according to the Book of Revan. The power, the power of Christ compels thee. The power of Christ compels thee. The power of Christ compels thee. It compels all thee to lead to greener pastures. They walk greener pastures at all. The cell trees must pay. They must be paved. For the power of Christ command me. Even though I walk through the valley of death, I shall fear no evil. I have seen many things in all the axes of evil that there are. I have walked great mountains in the sky and see the revenant birds above and all the acolytes around me. I who have all seen it all, who have been blessed within the holy fires of the VHS. I shall in thee of all spirits. I ask the loyal acolyte to all. Ancientness. Yes, even the spirits above pray for thee. Pray for my salvation. Pray for all salvation of humankind. Pray. Let us pray. It appears my prayers have been interrupted. Yes, the journey of horror movies that I have been on must continue. The spiritualistic journey. Do not worry, for the acolyte, the zealot within me, shall continue the journey with all of you all. The journey of sad horror films. But I must go, for I must relinquish the zealot within me, to bring forth the light and salvation that your real host brings. I hope we will see each other again one day in the land of zealots. I swear, in all honesty, zealots just, just keep coming at my doorstep. The more we review movies, the more the zealot within me appears. I, I, I had to get the holy beads again and, and vanquish him to the far reaches of my soul. Hopefully he's suppressed for now and I'm not called by the Emperor's grandmother anymore and sell it, uh, called out for my blasphemy. I've already been told by Lady Brown I'm going to be going to hell. Is there ten, how well, many circles it is? Whatever the next horror trip we go on, the, the zealot within me will probably come out. He'll probably be saying some weird ritualistic stuff from Star Wars. I have no clue what that man says. He, he honestly is the, the zealot within me. The religious zealot. You often wonder why I, I hate to keep late at the old order and all them. Yeah, that, that's zealotry. Now, VHS. Holy crap. The the one with the weird girl. Um, If you're watching the Emperor stream, I screamed because... Yeah, because ball yanking... And seeing the guys jump there, that was terrifying. Um, Killer of the Little Man. Yeah, seen it. The weird Skype call with the uh, thing in the arm and that. That was a weird story. Um, the Lesbos take too far. That I guess that's probably the most grounded of them all. And then the ending. The ending's why the religious cells appeared because the cells were there. They summoned a demonic woman in arms coming out from the zealots. And let's not forget, that's another comic I killed. And they all die. Because that seems to be a running trend in every movie we've reviewed so far. They all die. Well, that, that, that's fine. I didn't give away too much of the horror movies, but each of those horrors are in this. Now, this is only one of VHS 1 I've seen. It's a trilogy. Hopefully there's no more religious zealots. I would recommend this for you. It's a good watch. Personally, a popcorn film, but it's a good watch. I enjoyed watching it. It's two hours long, so you're going to have to put up a long film, but it's worth it. If you like the Blair Witch Project and these like reality film shot things that I've been going through, I hope you enjoy them. And I hope you enjoy the parodies of the Religious Zealot, because every time I, I encounter zealotry, the Religious Zealot might come out of me and project himself upon the world, for all I know. I hope I see you all soon. Watch VHS, it's worth the watch. I don't know if you can buy it. Tubi, it's on Tubi. Go and watch it the first one. I just watched it as the Emperor's live streaming. Hopefully you'll see this coming up. Till the next review, this is your host as always, the Mad Reviewer, signing off. I am crazy. <laughs>